now we are down to a best of one in this best of five series. It's going to be Blacklist International still against Onik Philippines down to a wire. Who gets to go home? Who gets to continue their run in the playoffs? Rough it's been for both of them Ooh. throughout the back and forth. And now they've gone back and forth yeah. in this first series to open up the playoffs here. Yeah, it's going to be a goodness to honest. Typical of the meta game we've seen heading into the Season 12 playoffs. Fight for the objectives. But hopefully these two teams have to consider that they really cannot forget about the side lanes. Yeah. I feel like that's going to be the X factor here. Which team decides to sacrifice a little bit more control and a little bit more advantage for a little bit more map pressure. Nothing too crazy with our emblems right now. Uh, both uh, Assassin... Uh, yeah, Quantum Charge City, right? <laughs> it's just like four on four. Yeah, it's going to be a very fast-paced <laughs> game for both of these teams, given that they both have four uh, Quantum Charges available for them. But I'm interested to look at how this first turtle will pan out, given the fact that both of our mid laners mm -hmm. seem to want to get level four in the XP. Yeah, uh, it goes back to the old storyline of Sensui and Ryzen, to Class S junglers yes. top of their game since we has had more iconic retribution dual wins mm -hmm. and performances all throughout but Ryzen's up there well you could see it both teams getting centered around here four versus four, four. four both gold laners waiting in the top side so it's up to the rest of the team here Turtles gonna go ahead and reset you can see already the tension between the two teams fighting for these objectives yeah. Right now, so far, Turtle has been contested by both of our teams. No one has let go just yet, Edward. With that onward, seemingly catching Cram. Edward going to jump in, going to have to deal with his own damage. Nether oh. going to be used. Still have to fight it out here. They're going to be pushed back for now. Onyx Philippines going to fight for domination of the oh. Turtle. Oh. Sensui wins the Retri battle. Ryzen falls as well. It's the battle of the S-Class junglers. And that, in that specific rotation, Blacklist International gets the upper hand. Meanwhile, Oheb at the top is seemingly just controlling momentum and pushing towers as much as he could. Escalero will fall down, but he will be able to back out. And with that 1k gold lead coming from the side of the agents, mm -hmm. while all of these things are happening. Nets losing in the gold lane and the biggest head scratcher for me, Escalera had the perfect opportunity to use the wild, wild charge, charge to really make sure that they got that. Uh, he should have committed that in that scenario. Mm -hmm. Even though they already got the heavy spin onto Sensui, it's difficult, but there is a small window of opportunity that he can ret retry. Uh, it's very small, but it worked out. And again, Sensui has been doing this all season long. Ever since season 10, yes. ever since coming into this league, he is a retribution god. One of the best in the Philippines. So Onik needs to put apply, uh, really respect Sensui and apply more pressure when yeah. they can. Yes, and with that pressure comes Escalera's momentous wild charge casting as well as Ryzen's heavy spin. But so far, we haven't been seeing any of that just yet. Sensui still on the back lane, seemingly wanting to poke Escalera, this Grok. But Renny J will back out, and this is going to be a chill game for both of our teams, supposedly. Yeah, well, right now, it's Blackwood's tempo. Uh, Onik yep. are playing right into it. They're waiting a bit too much uh, for the Turtles, a little bit too cautious. Where's the Escalera surprise, mm -hmm. wild charges that yeah. made him an MVP Grok Game. in his uh, return late into the season. Yeah, 12 seconds until the second Turtle comes up. Sensui there on his purple buff. Meanwhile, the rest of the side of the Onik Philippines squad is positioning themselves here in the second Turtle so they have the upper hand in terms of control in this Turtle. Turtle now up here. Sensui grabbing the buffs that he needs. And as we saw, Blacklist International guarding themselves up. a nice little lead here. They're going to go in and work with it. Circling Eagle to come down. They find more. Escalera could be in Wild trouble charge. here. Wild charge and defensive flicker. Fight. The lock. Sensui does it again. Gets the second turn. What? Out of the hands of Ryzen. Now going to be focusing on the purple buff as well. Ryzen has nowhere to go. How did Sensui get that? How many times have we said that throughout this season? <laughs> <laughs> How did Sensui get that? And Onik, you need to apply more pressure onto Sensui. My gosh. When teams go up against Echo and Carl TZ, they blow everything that they have to get Carl TZ down. 
You can't just control Sensui. You have to bring him low or even take him out. What the heck? Two turtles for the side of Blacklist International while they sweep that bottom lane outer turret. Meanwhile, 2.9k gold lead still in favor for the side of the agents as they want to be able to push this mid lane, but no. They wanted to respect the damage output coming from Super Friends as well as Ryzen's heavy spin. 1,200 gold lead is the difference between Oheb and Nets right now with Blacklist gold laner in the lead up to a Dominance Ice. You see here the difference in uh, priorities. Dom Ice here for the for Edith and of course boots. the Radiant Armor as well uh, for Cram instead. So again, similar to earlier, uh, this Giroth is going to be a little bit more utility because he's just yes, oh, there. Oh, no way. What? Mr. Worldwide, who's <laughs> going for it. Escalera, though, going to get forced back. And this is, you know, honestly, this is just the fundamentals from Black International. There's nothing fancy about yeah. it. It's just what you expect from these teams. It's very clean. Yeah. So, on Philippines, you know, how do you disrupt this? And this could be it. Concealed play going to come through. Escalera finding Oheb. There's the response. Renege with the circling eagle. Escalera, will he be able to escape? Once again, now Oheb, Oheb. avoiding the lockdown. Heavy spin not going to be utilized either. Yeah. Escalera didn't have the wild charge there. Of course, we saw that him have to use it earlier for an escape uh, when things got shaky down at the bottom lane. Yeah. So right now, Blacklist are in control. They can Ryzen. continue this. Oh, they get the heavy spin out. Ryzen Ooh. able to survive a little bit longer. Oheb yeah, could be in trouble here. There's the wild charge knocking Oheb up. Edward, the next Ooh. target. Can they get it? Sensui working on the turtle. He gets that. Cram now going to get tossed over. He's the next Bro. target. Knocked up. Uh. Can't play. Cram's gone. Can't play. That is the perfect statement. So much <laughs> control coming from the side of Blacklist. How can you play when you can't even move? He really couldn't move. <laughs> what was that? Chain uh, crowd control coming from Edward. Wow. It was a trade after trade, but I think it was in the favor of Blacklist International, mostly because of the fact that they were able to secure all uh, three turtles in this game. Onyx still not at the end of the game because despite the 2.5k gold lead with the side of Blacklist International, they can make plays. They can make perfect setups for their team. Oh, yep. again, Escalera going to go for it. UA Ooh. survives. Drags three with him, though. He will fall. Now Edward there. The rest of the team going to crash down. Looking for the sandwich oh, play. Renegade going to find Nets but can't go forward. The turret still stands. Blacklist International now. Oh. Can they press it on? They look like they want to do Cram. it. Bringing them back. Now forcing them. Cram once again getting tossed over. Going to get trapped here to his death. Along with oh the turret falling, gosh. they keep it going. Blacklist International is out for blood. Onward again. Cats it against Escalera, but he will be able to back out with that wilderness power of Guardian. And with that, Blacklist International has ballooned their lead into 5.1k gold lead in terms of economy. What do we have in the items? Okay, up to a golden staff already is the carry. For Circus Fury, Hasklaus already on the way to the third item is Oheb, and he does build it. The great dragon spear in his hands, and the problem now for Onik is that Yue has a lightning truncheon. But Super, Super is able also. to <laughs> match that as well. And we, this is what we talked about. You mentioned it, uh, Naisu. And we talked about it leading up to this game. It's not going to be flashy. It's not going to be fancy. Yes. It's honest to goodness. Just who can play better? And right now, the answer to that is it's Blacklist International. Sticking to their conditions. Uh, and Onyx, they'll, they'll just try to open up the map a little bit more, sending Nets up top. Oh, what the heck? Ooh. Big play maneuver. Coming out here, Ryzen. Oh. Can't get away, even with a heavy spin. So the Lord in the hands of Blacklist International, they continue on. Taking out the jungler of Onyx Philippines. Stop. Nets still on the top side, doing what he can. That tier one just about down. <sighs> and now Onyx has to defend against this Lord push. A 7K advantage coming from the side of Blacklist International with the Lord at their helm. This is what we were talking about, folks. It's funny because we just said nothing flashy, nothing fancy. <laughs> Blacklist pulled out one of the flashiest plays we've seen this entire series. Yes. That flicker, guiding wind, plus ultimate circling eagle coming from Renny Jake in combination with Oheb. Wow. Crap. It can work so well when they again. pull it off again. Renny Jake keeping them on their toes here. They have to Sensui. defend against this. Sensui 
Sliding on through the wall. There's the heavy spin from Ryzen. Oh! oh. Flicker as well. The turret's finally going to fall here. They keep them alive. Blacklist International now focusing on the bottom turret. They get that. They're happy. They make their way to the top lane. 9,000. 11 minutes. Only one base turret standing here for Onik. Can they hold on or will Blacklist continue Ooh. their playoffs run as the third seeded team heading to the playoffs? Cram could be oh! Cram is gone again, as well as the turret. Does Blacklist International look to Five end the four. game here? They have everything they need. Wave's gonna be pushing in. Do they have enough? Do they press the situation? They might look for it. UA wave. waiting for that wave Waves. to come in. Waiting for that nether realm. They're going to toss them oh. up here. Escalera oh. in trouble. He falls. Their nether own realm. nether realm going to be used. Do they have enough damage on a oh, kill? He's trying to hold on for their lives here. The waves are pushing. Full force. Ryzen pushes them back. Oh. Sacrificing himself with a heavy spin. Four minions. It's Nets. It's Super Fritz. It's Cram. Defending the base the best they can. Ooh. But Blacklist International wants to he end it here. Another kick goes through, and the code will continue on into the next phase of the playoffs as they send Onyx Philippines home. This winning moment is brought to you by our official sponsor, FWD Life Insurance. The history between these two. What Blacklist and Onyx means for the Philippines and the history of MLBB Esports across the world. They open up our playoffs with a banger Game 5 series.